lucky. Spencer, don't do it. You killed her. Elizabeth! What? What happened? Oh, God. Are you okay? You're okay, babe. It was just a dream. Vivid dreams are part of withdrawal. You want to talk about it? No. No, it's okay. You chose to do this without any professional help, out without any professional guidance, just you and me. And all I know is stuff that I've learned off of the internet. So there was... There's nothing to know. Except that my... My body wants pills, and I know that I can't have them. We're supposed to be in this together. I am fighting for our marriage. And more importantly, I am fighting for you. But you won't even open up to me. You can't even tell me why you wake up in the middle of the night screaming. I killed you. I killed you. I walked in on you and Patrick having sex right here. I shot you. Okay, um, well, you know dreams aren't literal. And there's one theory that every person in your dream actually represents you and the stuff that you're dealing with. And honey, you are dealing with an awful lot right now. It was about Maxie and what we were doing. I, I just don't know how you, how you can forgive me or forgive what you saw us doing. Yeah, well, can we not talk about that right now? Okay, not while you're going through withdrawal. And you're, you're not even thinking straight. I don't want to talk about it. Well, are you thinking straight? I'm thinking straight enough to know that it's all on me. You didn't cheat on her marriage. Yes, Graham, I promise. Of course, I miss him terribly. It's just... It's just better off with you right now, okay? Thank you. I love you, too. Bye. Not exactly that father you wanted for your son. Cameron thinks you are the smartest, bravest, strongest man in the whole world. We should go see him. I don't want to leave you. Listen, you know what? I'll be fine for like an hour. Hey, Hi. come on in. Yeah. Okay. How you doing? Well, your time could be better. You can go see Cameron now. Nicholas is here. I'll be fine. Uh, well, are you sure? Yes, my... My afternoon is, is wide open, and I'd like to spend some time with my brother here. Okay, well, if you don't mind, then I have some work I need to catch up on in yeah. the hospital. Sure. Great. Take okay. all the time you need. Please don't worry. I'll try. Part is over. All right. Sounds like a textbook addict to me. Oh, you shouldn't be doing this all alone, Lucky. There are tons of places to get help. Tons of clinics, rehabs. Yeah, and I bet you pay for it too. Absolutely, I would. I'd do whatever it takes to help. Yeah, you. well, worry about Lulu. She needs you more than I do. Why? I don't understand. Why, why do you insist on going through this by yourself? Because what? it's my problem. Well, it would be great if it were that easy, Lucky. But you can't be alone. 
and Elizabeth can't be around 24-7. Rehab makes sense. It's safe, it works. Yeah, and it'd only be a matter of time before it got back to the department. Lucky, you wouldn't be the first cop in history who had a substance abuse problem. But I know what happens to the ones that do go public. They get a rep of being untrustworthy and nobody wants to be their partner. You get to save your own life. Seems like a reasonable trade-off to me. I just can't be locked up in some clinic for the next 30 days. It's like an open invitation for Patrick Drake. Oh, Lucky, would you lose the Patrick Drake thing already? And that's, that's got to be the drugs talking, because nothing happened between them. You know what? You're just trying to absolve yourself of sleeping with Max. once, Elizabeth. Take a good look at me, Nicholas. How can I fight for Elizabeth the way I am now? I just came from seeing my little boy. I try to drop in on my breaks and say hi to him whenever he's there. You do. Thank you. He loves daycare, Elizabeth. He has some friends and they're always playing. I know. I just had to tell him again that he can't come home with me. And he doesn't, he doesn't understand and obviously I can't tell him the truth. And I know he loves Graham. He misses me, and he just wants to come home. But I can't bring him into a home when Lucky's trying to kick his habit. Oh, my God. My husband is a drug addict. I did not picture my life like this. <laughs> and now my little boy, he's, his whole world has been turned upside down, and it's become this very scary and unstable place. Now, Elizabeth, and... you're his rock. Okay? There is no doubt in my mind that he feels loved and secure. I love Lucky, and I want to help him. But not at the expense of my little boy. You know, it, every time you open your mouth, all I hear is an addict talking. All the excuses about what made you use the drugs and how it drove you to how it drove you to cheat on your wife blah 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 excuses lucky you you really think that if you can blame everything on elizabeth and patrick drake it'll justify all your excuses you never saw them together again excuses to start using again you know what i was high when i cheated on my wife what's your excuse don't use emily to change the subject well the subject is drug addiction not that you know jack about what it's like to kick this thing no, you you're exactly right. I don't know anything about it. And I'm not judging you. All I'm saying is that you need to be around other people who understand this thing. Because they can help. That's... Okay, I'll tell you what. If you, if you can't g it, or won't go to rehab, you tell me what your other options are. Meetings. I go to meetings. Meetings? Yeah. Meetings, do they help? Yeah, they do. In fact, you know what? A meeting right now would help a lot. Okay. That's great. I'll tell you what. I'll go with you. Just in case you were thinking about scoring some pills on the way there. I know that Lucky is ill and that addiction is a disease. But it is not easy getting over walking in on him and that tramp having sex. It is burned into my brain. And, and how much can I possibly excuse because of the pills? I'm sorry, Elizabeth, I, I know how it feels to be cheated on. I mean, you think you buried the pain and then it just blindsides you all over again. And it's not like I can even tell him right now how hurt and angry I really am. I think Lucky's on his way to getting better. When he slept with Maxie, that was hitting rock bottom. <laughs> Elizabeth, he scared himself so badly he knows he has to get clean. I want to stick by him. I really do, but it goes both ways. With all the broken promises and the lies, Lucky owes it to me and Cameron to, to make good on his word. I'm not gonna be dragged into a cycle of abuse and then recovery and then failure. So what are you saying? I'm saying, if he doesn't have the strength to do this and he takes those pills again, I'm gone.
the Senate Club meeting. Hi. Yeah, Nicholas came along here to make sure I don't do anything <clears throat> stupid. Lucky I'm not here to police you. I'm just here to help you. Yeah, I know. I owe you. No, you don't. We both love you and know you can do this. That's... And we're going to be waiting right here for when you get out. I'll see you later. Looking for you. Did you score? Just like you asked for. 